Hi, this is Andy with Automated Marketer. In today's video, we'll be going over some new exciting updates to the high-level CRM system. Let's get started. So the first update goes for the developers. This is something, you know, usually we have something simple that comes first. This one though is actually for the developers, for the people who are doing something a little extra. Now, you may not have the chance to really use this very often in your business, but this is gonna give you the chance to work on things that are maybe a little out of the box, that are gonna connect to other functions throughout the web. It's called the custom code action. So if I put in code right here, you're gonna see custom custom code right here. And this works right now only with JavaScript. I hope that there's more to come to go into certain specific functions that you may have on another website or if you want other functionality to happen. What's really cool is, you know, this is something that you would probably not think that you will use that often, but you may want to hook up to a system later on, maybe another website's catalog or you need a certain function to happen where a file gets changed or anything that can happen with JavaScript, basically, you can now make it happen within Go High Level. So it's a simple change, a simple addition, but really needed for those developers. Now, in the next update, we have something I'm actually very excited about. Here at Automated Marketer, we like to organize things. We like to have things work seamlessly together and make it really easy on the client to find exactly what they're looking for. So what we have now is the ability to do nested folders inside of the workflow list. This really may not sound very exciting, but for me and for the countless people who do development day after day, this is super important. And it's important because it helps us stay organized. So as you can see here, we have two lead magnet workflow folders and they already have workflows within them. So if I click into each one of those, those have workflows in them. Well, now I can create a new folder and I'm just gonna call it 01 leads. It could be whatever I want it to be. I would say lead magnets, but the other ones are already called that. I would hit create and then I can take these folders and I can move that folder into the main folder. So like this and then like this into the leads. Now you may say to yourself, well, that's not a big deal. So you can put the folders all together. This is so cool for one reason and one reason only, archiving. So hear me out. There's a lot of times when you are just gonna have a ton of workflows and there's a good chance that a lot of these workflows are not going to be used very often, but you still wanna keep them. Either they're from the past or something like that. What you're gonna do though is you can take all those, you can make another folder and in that folder, make an archive. So you make a folder for your archive and you dump everything that you're not using into that. And then everything is organized and simple to use. Now there's one point in this though that you have to take into consideration. So if I go into leads and I have these two folders underneath, if I delete this top folder here, it deletes the other folders and all the workflows inside. So be careful. But for me, this is really a welcome addition. So it's easier to keep organized inside of Go High Level. All right. For the next one, we've got something, again, that may seem small to a lot of people, but is actually huge for people who work in here day in and day out. And it's all about speed. Now we have something called, what they're affectionately calling inside of high level, ludicrous speed. If you remember from the Spaceballs movie. Ludicrous speed. <gasps> ludicrous speed. So we've never gone that fast before. So what does this mean? It means that now you're gonna be able to configure your domains by going to settings, Go into domains. When you add a domain, and I'm just gonna add one as an example here, one that I know is available to use, hit continue. We are now able to have Cloudflare directly imported, even though I have something like GoDaddy, which automatically authorizes my domain, and then I'm gonna connect it. You see this little square cube thing? This is their LC ludicrous speed icon. And when you click connect, our domains are gonna run so much faster, so that means all your websites, all your funnels, everything connected to your high level account is going to work at a much higher speed. All because we now have the ludicrous speed from Go High Level. Ludicrous speed, go! The next exciting feature is payment links. Now you may have heard about this one before, but it's been really refined and made even better. So now you can create payment links as opposed to always having to do an invoice or a product or do an offer page. Maybe you just want something quick. Maybe you just want something where somebody can simply get a link, 
and pay for something easily in your high level account. You'll just email them the link so that they can pay. So how do we do it? We're on the payment links page. You get there by going to payments and payment links. You create a link. Now you will have already have created a product. So this is a fictionalized tour company called Let's Go Kiddo. It's like a family tour company. What you do is you choose your product. As you can see, I have the Let's Go Kiddo one hour tour for $99. I just click it there and I can require certain things on here. Now it already comes with first name, last name, and email address. But let's say I also want the phone number. Maybe I want a mailing address and I can also include coupon codes. I'm just gonna get rid of the address and so forth. And I can put it at test or live and I can have the branding and I can change the branding however I want. So we'll just do that. This says uh, branding by let's go kiddo. And as you can see, that's changed it right over there. And then all I gotta do is hit save. And actually I'm gonna title it. I almost forgot to do that. So let's just call it 99 tour. I'll save it again. I'll hit my back button. And now I have this handy link that I can literally send out to anybody to get them to pay for something. I copy the link and I'm gonna just hit this plus sign here so I can get another tab and I'm gonna paste it. And I can throw this into an email saying, hey, just pay right here. And all they have to do in order to order this is just fill out their information and hit pay and they're ready to rock and roll. They'll instantly become a contact and they will receive a receipt on this. It won't say Andy test account because it'll be the name of your actual high level account. One other thing that you can do in here is on the left hand side, if you decide, okay, I don't even need this anymore, I can then just go over here, click the three dots and delete it. Or I can deactivate it if I'm not using it anymore and I wanna use it later, or maybe it's only a one-time thing. And that is the new payment link feature inside of Go High Level. Many of us are developers. Many of us bill on a project by project basis. We will create something for a client like a website or a funnel or anything like that. And we will actually take a partial payment in the beginning before we finish the whole project. We don't expect to get paid the whole amount right up front. That happens a lot. We sometimes give a discount if they do do a whole right in front, but most of the time the client wants to give like a half first and then the half upon completion of the project. So what they've added now in high level, which I absolutely love, is a partial payment setting so that you can now do partial payments for your clients. Let me show you how this works. So I already created this invoice and this was one that I just made. It's for website creation is $3,000. Now, here's the thing. The client might not want to spend the $3,000 immediately. So I can hit the back button right over here. I can go to this little settings icon right over there. And within payment settings, in the settings for invoices, I can turn on allow partial payments. I just click that one over and I can put a minimum percentage amount to be paid each time. In this case, I'm going to do 50. That's what I usually use for my deposits. I click save. I'm going to go back. I'll go back to my invoice, here's my invoice, and when I send this out to a client, there will be an icon that allows them to pay just half of it, the $1,500. That is a really cool new setting within High Level. Again, to get to it, you go to Settings, you go to Payment Settings, and then you do Allow Partial Payments. And lastly, the new update is that we've got a lot of brand new templates that have been added to go High Level. So this isn't just in the Funnel Builder, so we have all these, these are in the Funnel Builder, but we also also have it inside of emails and the way you can get to the email templates is you click on templates right here click on new you go to email templates and all these are brand spanking new new templates ready for you ready to expand what you're doing in business service all the clients that you have or service yourself all this stuff is pre-built ready for speed ready to run fast great to use if you like what we're doing here at OMA marketer and you like the content that we're delivering don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see See you in the next video.